I'm sure you are familiar with these. They're surface contacts for a burglar alarm. I'm now going to show you what they are and how they work. First of all, let's turn them over. This one here, with no terminals on it, is a magnet. That gets fixed to the door. This part here is the actual contact. I will now zoom in for you. It's actually quite easy to get them out. This thing here is the actual contact itself. It's actually a reed switch. Here is how they work. There are two pieces of metal inside the glass envelope. One is fixed, the other is flexible. When a magnet is brought near, the flexible one moves and touches the fixed one, therefore allowing the current to flow. When the magnet is taken away, it springs apart again. So yes, every time you open and close the door, it really does do this. That's why you notice on most alarms now, if you open your front door, it goes beep bop. And that's because the contact was closed and then opened. Let's show you how to connect one up. Not to an alarm, just so you can see what it does. Here is our contact reassembled. You'll see it has five screws in the back. you also notice three of the screws are brass, two are silver. The two silver screws are actually the reed switch itself. So we need to connect to those. Today's demonstration, I'll fold the other six out of the way and just use the two. I just happen to have chosen red and yellow because these are the most commonly ones used. They are where I come from. Very easy. Slacken off the screw. Underneath the screw there is a washer. Flip the wire round under the washer. Tighten it up. Same for the other one. Undo the screw. Wire under the washer. Tighten it up. Done. Always trim off the surplus. As I said earlier, the moving part goes on the door. The stationary part goes on the frame because obviously you can't put a wire onto a moving part. That is how you connect a burglar alarm magnetic reed switch. They do come in a variety of sizes, like this one. Let's have a look inside. As I showed in the first example, these are just bigger, that's all. Just has a slightly bigger magnet. As before, if I put the magnet near the reed switch, the difference being, let's bring the reed, the difference being, this having a bigger magnet activates the reed switch further away. Let's do it with the original one. About half an inch before it activates. Whereas this one, well over an inch. 
it really is just because it has a much bigger magnet compared to this one. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, please. Buy me a coffee.